welcome to my channel let's learn today in this video i would like to show you how to perform social engineering attack before we move ahead please go through this disclaimer the main objective of this video tutorial is to demonstrate how to perform social engineering attack and how it is done by the hacker in this video, I will demonstrate you how attacker can get password of any web application by means of phishing attack, which is also a type of social engineering attack. Before we move ahead, let me explain you briefly what exactly is social engineering attack. Social engineering attack by the name is the art of convincing people to reveal confidential information they have. This confidential information could belong to an organization or the person himself. The most common target of social engineering include people who has access to these sensitive information. Social engineers depends on the fact that people are unaware of their valuable information they have and they are careless about protecting it. In fact, they don't know the value of those informations they possess or the value of information they have access to. And another main reason of social engineering attack is human nature of trust. In this video, I will be using different platform and tools. As usual, my hacker machine will be the Kali Linux. My victim machine can be Windows 7 or any other operating system. It can be Windows 10 or even Windows 11. And I will be using social engineering toolkit that is available inside the Kali Linux. It is It comes with pre-installed. Without any further delay, let me take you to the demonstration. Welcome to the second part of this video. Now I am inside my Kali Linux. Kali Linux is my hacker machine. Before I move ahead, let me start my Windows 7, which will be my victim machine. Once I am inside the Kali Linux, let me go to application. Then I will go to social engineering tools. Here I will go for social engineering toolkit. Now it will ask me for the Kali, password of Kali. There are different options available inside the social engineering attack. You can see from the menu, first one is social engineering attack. I will select this option, one, number one. Then inside the social engineering, we can perform different type of attack. Uh, one is spear phishing, another is website vector attack and the list goes on. Today, I will demonstrate to you how to perform website vector attack and address the potential and go for option 2. Inside the website vector attack, there are sub options. There, here, I will go for credential harvester attack method, that is number 3. I will click on, I will select number 3. Then, after that, I have Again, three or more options where it is saying web templates, site cloner, and custom imports. I'll go for web templates. Let me see what are the different templates available here. Go it right here. Then before I move ahead, I have to provide the IP address where I am going to host this clone site. I am going to host it inside the Kali Linux and the web IP address of Kali Linux is given over here. Uh, let me just press enter then after that I can go for only two options that is one is Google another one is Twitter I will go for Google I want to clone Google authentication page then I'll select two after that it might take some time to build that Google authentication page then now let me go back to my victim machine where the Windows 7 is already started, I will go for input and go for control or delete and I will log in here. Once I'm logging, I can simply browse to the Kali Linux machine. To make this video tutorial more interesting and to make it feel like a real life attack, uh, before I go to Windows 7, I will move back to my Kali Linux. On the Kali Linux, I'll go to Mozilla Firefox then I will try to perform phishing attack. Here I will log into one of my email address, email address, Gmail. I'll go inside the Gmail. 
Then once I'm inside the Gmail, I will compose one email, phishing email to my victim. Let me see. I think I believe I have already composed that email. I'll check here. Uh, we can see it is over here. I will I will change this email content. Now let me go for compose. Then I will click over here. There I saying, dear Vokta, it is unfortunate, very, very unfortunate to tell you that you didn't change your password within the stipulated time. As a result, your email has been blocked. Please click on the below link to activate your account. Let me send. To make it more realistic, I'll make it like www.abcuniversity.com. Then I'll put the link over here. I'll click on the link, insert link. Let me see. Insert link. Then I have to display www.abcuniversity.com. Then I'll put the address of http 10.10.10.5, which is the IP address of Kali Linux. Then I'll press OK. Maybe I'll press, I'll get it here double twi twice. I'll remove the earlier one. Then I would make it like IT department, ABC University. Because we know that our victim is currently a student of this university. And we believe that if we compose an email like this, there is a high possibility we will go through our phishing email. Now let me send him. My client is my victim is this person and change of password ABC University change of password. Then I'll click send. I have sent him this email. Let me go to my victim. My victim machine victim was unaware of this social engineering attack. On one good day, he will log into his Gmail. After he logged in, he will find that there is an email from ABC University. It is saying that change your password, you must change your password and activate your account. Once he click in the login page, he will be redirected to Google account, which seems to be a Google account, but in reality, it is not a Google account. It is a clone site, which is hosted on my Kali Linux. Then let us let us imagine that he will try to log in using BH. A K T A at ABC ABC University dot com. Then he will give a provide a password like M A K E R Maker at one two three. Once he signed in, definitely he could not be signed in because there was a fake page. Now, after he completed this process, if we go back to our attacker machine and go to social engineering attack, we can see the credential of this person we can see this his email is bakta at uni, abcuniversity.com and his password is blah 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 in this way we have successfully captured the password of our victim through social engineering attack especially by the use of phishing attack further to this let me show you how to clone any site using social engineering toolkit as usual go to Kali Linux and go to social engineering toolkit provide your password go for option 1 then go for option 2 then go for option 3 credential harvester attack method now we are going to use site cloner to clone our site let me go to Firefox then let me open one of the college website I'm going to use Phoenix College let me go to Phoenix College then let me go to apply online then now I'm going to clone this site let me copy the URL to clone this site I have to copy the URL then I'll go to social engineering I'll select number two option for site cloner 
over here i will provide the ip address of kali linux which is already given then i will provide the url of the site which i want to clone paste clipboard i want to clone this site then i will hit enter then i will wait for a few moment for social engineering toolkit to clone this site now let me go to my victim machine as usual let us imagine that the victim machine receive a phishing email from the attacker complaining about non login to his accounts for quite a long time and notice of closure permanent closure of his or her account so once he browse he will be taken to the site of Kali Linux that is 10.10.10.5 then it will be showing that the login of Phonix College. Then, if you log in over here, let's say if you log in over here with his credential for the given by the college, then login. Definitely, your C cannot be logging, but attacker machine will capture the password that was entered by the victim. That is, email is razan123 at phonixcollege.edu.np, and the password is something which he have entered now we have successfully harvest the password or the credential of our victim thank you for watching this video if you appreciate my job please like this video and subscribe to my channel